Hey, welcome to Creata Classes and also welcome to our video on medians in a right angle triangle. In this lecture, we will cover this special relationship between the sides and medians in a right angle triangle. Note that this relation is only applicable in a right angle triangle. Don't get confused and apply the relation in other types of triangle. This relation is only and only applicable for a right angle triangle. This video is a part of a median series. Check out the median playlist for other related videos. So let's proceed with the lecture. This relation that we are just going to study are generally covered in several competitive exams. So this small relation is important. Let's see what is the relation. Let's take a right angle triangle ABC. Angle B is 90 degree angle. Let's take the median as CN and AM. N and M are the midpoint of AB and BC. Let's assume AN and BN as Y. Both of these line segments will be equal to each other as N is the midpoint. Similarly, let's assume BM and MC as X. Both of these will be equal to each other. Further, are you able to observe triangle ABM and triangle NBC? These two triangles are also a right angle triangle. Let's take these two triangles out of the figure. If we apply the Pythagoras in both of this triangle, we got for the first triangle that is triangle ABM, we got x square plus 2y square is equal to am square. Here AB will be y plus y that is 2y. Similarly, for the triangle NBC, we got 2x square plus y square is equal to cn square. Here BC will be x plus x that is 2x. Let's add both these equations. We got 5 times x square plus y square is equal to am square plus cn square. Can we replace x square plus y square with nm square? How? Let's see. If we take the triangle nbm, this small triangle, and apply the Pythagoras, we got nm square is equal to x square plus y square. So we can replace x square plus y square with nm square. So we got our relation as 5nm square is equal to am square plus cn square. Pausing for a while, we have various modules on complex and dynamic mathematical concept which are difficult to teach using the traditional teaching methods. We cover the difficult mathematical concept using the visual learning tools. Check out the link in the description for the various mathematical modules created using the animation and the visual tool, that is through the visual learning tools. We believe in adding creativity to the learning. Now let's back to the lecture. Further, if we observe the triangle ABC and the line segment NM, here N and M are the midpoint of the side AB and BC respectively. Are you able to compare this with our midpoint theorem? N and M are the midpoint and as per the midpoint theorem, the line segment joining the midpoint of two sides of the triangle is parallel to the third side and is also equal to half of the third side. So we can say NM and AC are parallel to each other and also NM is half of AC. So can we replace NM with AC by 2? Let's do so. We got 5 times AC by 2 whole square is equal to AM square plus CN square. On solving, we got 5 by 4 AC square is equal to AM square plus CN square. This is the relation. Here AM and NC are the medians for this triangle and AC is the hypotenuse for this triangle. As per this relation, 5 by 4 times AC that is hypotenuse square is equal to sum of square of the two medians. This is one of the important relation that is generally asked in the competitive exams. So we have covered this relation. Okay, we have done the two properties of medians with respect to a right angle triangle. The first one we have done that is in a right angle triangle median to hypotenuse is equal to half the hypotenuse. 
and secondly we have done this relation that is am square plus cn square is equal to 5 by 4 ac square these two properties or these relations are only and only applicable for a right angle triangle this is very important sometimes a student get confused and apply this relation in some other type of triangles also so note it down so that's it for this lecture thank you very much for being with creata classes